Another insanity of the Kremlin, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has decided not just to prove to the world once again that Russians are murderers, rapists and liars. He went even further. In an interview with Italian media, Lavrov compared Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to Hitler. Какая может быть у нас нацификация, когда я еврей? Я, если правильно помню, боюсь ошибиться, но, по-моему, у Гитлера тоже была еврейская кровь. Это абсолютно ничего не значит. И мы уже давно слышали мудрость, мудрый еврейский народ, который говорит, что самые ярые антисемиты, как правило, евреи. Не без where exactly Lavrov heard this from the Jewish people, he never explained. Apparently, he decided to recall the memoirs of Hans Frank, one of Hitler's proxies. The assumption that the world's main Nazi father allegedly had Jewish roots belongs to him. However, no one has found any documentary evidence of this. Lavrov's cave statement shocked the whole civilized world. One of the first to react was Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett. He stated that Lavrov's words were untrue and that their message was wrong. And the purpose of such a deliverance of the Russian foreign minister is to accuse the Jews of the worst crimes against humanity. Meanwhile, Israeli Foreign Minister Yair Lapid called this statement a terrible historical mistake. Foreign Minister Lavrov's remarks are unforgivable and outrageous statement as well as terrible historical error. Jews didn't kill themselves during the Holocaust. The lowest level of racism against Jews is to accuse the Jews themselves of anti-Semitism. So, according to Lapid, Lavrov is a racist. The Russian Foreign Ministry, of course, could not ignore such a message. On the same day, in their own style, they accused the Jews of supporting the mythical Nazi regime in Ukraine. We draw attention to the anti-historical statements of the head of the Israeli Foreign Ministry, which largely explained the course of the current Israeli government to support the neo-Nazi regime in Kyiv. The Russians call the Jews Nazis. That means Russia, not having its own history, wants to rewrite the history of others. What's more, to lie to the whole world again. But the main goal, as always, is to convey their truth to the Russians. Those who like to steal toilets and those who ask their husbands to rape Ukrainian women. The statement from Foreign Minister Lavrov, it was the lowest form of racism. It was the lowest form of propaganda. It was the lowest form of insidious lies. And I think with it and other, not only statements, but conduct from the Kremlin, its top officials, <clears throat> its personnel, including its personnel in Ukraine, uh, the Kremlin is consistently proving that there is no floor uh, when it comes to just how low they can stoop. Leading Israeli media have already called this embroilment a turning point in relations between Israel and Russia. The Jerusalem Post writes that now the country will not be able to maintain neutrality during Russia's war against Ukraine. The Haaretz newspaper wrote that Lavrov's grotesque remarks about Hitler in a desperate attempt to justify Russian aggression ignite anti-Semitism in the world. But anti-Semitic statements alone were not enough. A Hamas delegation arrived in Russia for talks. Israel, the United States, Canada and Japan consider it as a terrorist organization. According to media reports, Hamas representatives spoke with Sergei Lavrov. Indeed, who else but the one who has now became one of the world's most important anti-Semites. Putin personally undertook to save his henchmen. He has already apologized to Naftali Bennett for his foreign minister, and Bennett allegedly accepted the apology. That is, the Kremlin is shaking hands with Hamas with one hand and Israel with the other. Prior to Lavrov's antics, the Israeli Prime Minister was cautious about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. He even tried to organize talks between Zelensky and Putin. But how will Jerusalem behave now, knowing that the Kremlin is ready to do and its desire to destroy Ukraine and change the world order? After all, now Israel obviously also understands who the real Nazi is.